Hey Math 43, I want to show you how to calculate some residuals after you've run regression. I'm going to go back to example 10 and just show you how we could have calculated residuals for, for that situation. And that was again when um, folks were going into cardiac arrest and we were defibbing them to get their heart um, back up and running. So if you ever want to calculate residuals, the first thing you have to do is run linear regression. So let's go through that and let's do stat calc 8. And then I'll go L1, comma, L2, comma, Y1. All right, and we've got that going on. And there was our, our linear regression equation. We got that back in example 10. Let me go turn my stat plot on. It looks like I left it off. Oops. And then let's see our scatter plot. And again, that should look familiar. We did that in example 10. So how, how could I can, uh, calculate a residual? So you can go through and you could actually, you know, individually go actual y value minus predicted y value if you wanted to. That just might take you a little while. So if you go back into your list, stat and enter, if you go over into L3 and go up into L3, when I say up, I mean make sure L3 has the black background. So I want you to be in the name of the list, not the first cell in that list, the first data value. So be up in the name of the list. And as long as you've run linear regression and you have something in your Y1, your calculator can get those residuals for you. So you do that by hitting second in stat. And then somewhere in here will be a residual list. And it might differ for your calculator versus mine. I think in my home calculator, the like the one I actually type on my hands, um, it's in option or it's in menu item eight. This one, let's see where it is. Let me scroll down and find resid. Oh, well that's interesting. It says it's not here. Go down one more. Huh. Oh, oh, there it is. So I don't know why it wasn't scrolling down, but for some reason when I scrolled up, there it was. So it was on option eight. So anyways, I'm just gonna go ahead and hit that. And then when you hit enter, it'll auto populate, right? So there are all of my residuals. So I can see my actual minus predicted Y values, there was a difference of about 7.2% here. We were off by about half a percent, so on and so forth. So that's how you calculate residuals. Um, you just gotta make sure you run linear regression or really any type of regression. We were sticking to linear in this class, but you can do quadratic, cubic, exponential, and then go into your L3 and define your residuals. All right, so with that, that's our quick little lesson on how you calculate residuals. Thanks so much, gang. Bye.